Hello, my name is Edward. Welcome and greetings. The birds are greeting us as well. It's actually raining as I film this. So this is the energy, soul energy forecast for the Pisces new moon solar eclipse of February 26th, 2017. Welcome, cheers, greetings. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching. Thank you for joining us. I am your soul messenger host, Edward Regasta, psychic medium, assisting us all, including myself, to live and manifest the life, live and manifest the life that our soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. All right, so this is, well, it's a very interesting time, very interesting time to be alive. The, this is the, this is the blending of, the birds are happy. This is a blending of the Leo lunar eclipse with the Pisces solar eclipse. Because for the energy of the day, we have the end cycle male epitome of the element of fire, which is part of our zodiac year influence. So let's start there. So for our Zodiac Year Influence, which started April 7th, 2016, and runs through the end of March, upcoming 2017, for the Aries New Moon and the New Zodiac Year, we have Virgo being represented, and the male epitome of the element of fire, which is today's energy. So all Virgo sun signs are activated, empowered, and are triggered specifically Virgo males, but all Virgos, and also on an energy level, energetically, Virgo moon signs and Virgo rising ascendant as well. And for our month video, or our month, I should say, for Pisces 2017, continuing, which I believe is February 18th through March 19th, we have Libra being represented and Karma and Taurus Moon being an energetic influence as well. Also karma through people, the influence of people from our past, including past lives. So both videos, both videos go to our website, link below, go to link timeline, and they are both up. All videos that are in energetic influence are there. Zodiac Year 2016, Shift of Consciousness, and Pisces 2017, Key equals our emotion, imagination. I almost said emotionation as well. Well, this is an emotional time, truly. All right. So we start a new week energy which technically is February 26th through March 4th. And this is the energetic influence of the planet Mercury in Aquarius. Mercury represents our, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Mercury represents our conscious mind, cheers. And the energy that I attribute to this is journey of consciousness and it's also a loving warning for us not to rush. Mm -hmm. So this time, I took my time and, well, I already had the theme healing song, Spirit Chose It For Me, not too long ago. And this time I actually chose an image for the cover image before I film. Usually it's after. But because we were in the energy of you know, really re reminding us, reminding, because it's the element of air, the conscious mind, not to rush. So I figured, all right, let's, let's go with it. Let's do this proper. So journey of consciousness. Hmm. Well, we certainly will go on a journey of consciousness if we allow things to flow. F-L-O-W because this is a Pisces, Pisces is a water sign, solar eclipse. So, even though it's an air sign, there's the element of water that is involved, 
and that involves our emotions. And when I get to the Psychic Insight theme, mm -hmm. it's definitely emotionally based. Let's see if there's anything else you want to say about that before we move on. Well, we are being guided. Do we recognize it? Do we acknowledge it? Do we honor it? You know, this is all going back to our inner GPS system, inner guidance system, emotional guidance system. Our heart and soul, energetically connected, should be at the wheel. And the mind, our consciousness, should be in the driver's seat. I mean, in the, uh, dr the passenger seat. So the driver's seat should be our heart and our soul. And that is, we're being reminded of that at this time. Because that's where our true happiness lies. We, we need our mind. We've got to be in our right mind, right? But shouldn't really be in the driver's seat. All right, let's continue. So the energy of the day is the male epitome of the element of fire. So this is where we're blending in the fire energy with the water energy. And we're going to go more into the water energy and element for part two and three of the solar eclipse. So all male fire signs are activated, empowered, triggered. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And because of that, I thought I would repeat and also add in a bit more information with dates that we are going to be triggered from the Leo lunar eclipse. So we started off on February 10th with the Leo full moon lunar eclipse. So that was bringing us awareness. Okay. For some lucky ducks, opportunity, but for the majority of us, awareness. Okay, awareness eventually opens up the door of opportunity, so it's a key role. On March 27th, we have the Aries new moon, the new zodiac year begins. That's going to be a trigger point. Should be the opening up of a door, either energetically or literally, figuratively at least. On June 9th, 2017, we had the Sagittarius full moon. So new moons are typically a time of new starts, new beginnings. Full moons are typically a time of healing, closure, things being revealed. So we can look forward for that somewhere over the rainbow. We can look forward to that around the time of the Sagittarius full moon, June 9th, 2017. And then we have, and this is the added in information, additional information, August 21st, 2017, we have the Leo new moon and solar eclipse. So that's going to be the next, August 2017 is going to be the next eclipse season time for us. So that's when, that is when, August 21st, is when we are going to take all the knowledge that we have learned since February 10th and then move forward from there. All right, there you have it. There's your portal window of time, if you will. So, the fact that, so, okay, so here we are, right? New moon, solar eclipse, time of, time of beginnings, time of energetic opening up of doors, perhaps opportunities. Of course, it depends where it falls in our chart to get more specific. And here we have the end cycle, okay? So this is the end cycle of the element of fire. Element of fire represents the spark of life, the spark of divinity within us all, namaste. The divinity within me acknowledges the divinity in you. So this is like, okay, even though we might not have released everything that we need to release, if, we're, if we have awareness of it, we do not have to detain or put off our opportunity or opening up of a door for us or window for us. So everything that we have gone through since February 10th 
and you know February is a v <laughs> um you know I'm just trying to keep afloat with the energy I'm sure you're trying to do the same it's a very interesting um interesting month and I'm sure August 2017 will be as well so where we are we are reflecting we're reflecting before we take our leap of faith in the not too distant future which is probably signified by the Aries new moon around March 27th. So we're reflecting. We're gathering our inner wisdom and knowledge that we have learned so far. Let's say since April 7th, 2016. Okay? We're reflecting back since then when we started the Zodiac year. And, you know, this is the last month before... We go into the new zodiac year, which is based on a lunar cycle with Aries being the beginning. So Pisces is the ending, the 12th house, naturally, in our charts, the subconscious. And Pisces are extremely sensitive, and this is going to be an extremely sensitive time for us all. And, well, even though I ended up changing songs for the theme healing song, still imagination is, is key, is part of the equation. And I'm a Virgo, so Virgo sun sign, but I have a lot of Virgo in my chart. So Virgo is based in reality. Pisces is based in fantasy. We mix the two, we get magic. We have... We have magic. We need both. One without the other, mm, it's only half. Only half of the um, equation of picture. Or painting, if you will. Or dream, actually. Let's say dream. All right, we're going to move on. We might come back to that. So the psychic insight theme is the influence of the planet Saturn in Pisces. Pisces, because it's a Pisces new moon, solar eclipse. Saturn, that's a little bit of a, of a heavy. Let's not make it a downer, but of mm, a little bit has weight to it. Let's put it that way. So the energy that I attribute to this is either relationships or a living space. So both, both of those topics are definitely hot topics. And even though it's a new beginning, if we need to burn off or purge a relationship from, the pa from our past, this lifetime, past lifetime, doesn't matter, so we can bring in a new, here we are. And hopefully you have enjoyed the energy transmission that I recorded with Heather for the Lunar Lunar Eclipse. And we're going to be doing another one for this Pisces Solar Eclipse. And I'm sure that's going to be a big part of it. Relationships and where we're living, living space. Well, that'll be my input anyway. So this is a time where a lot of people are going to be turning their backs from things that are no longer energetically resonating with them or serving them. It could include people. If people want to back up from us, we're supposed to let them. I know, it's easier said than done. But we're definitely leaving an influence behind. So I'm not saying we're not going to have a new beginning, but there's still a closing that is included with this. Always, this could end up being bittersweet, but we still need, just like if we have to move location, physically move location, or if a relationship ends, it's always bittersweet, that period of time. But big time, whatever does no longer serve us energetically, it's time to release that. So here we have the combination of 
fire and water. Okay? Steam heat or steam. So, for those who are inclined to enjoy or partake in a sauna or hot tub, that would be a great way to release energy. Now, we could be breaking, either breaking and or forming ties with people we've had relationships with in the past, but I really mean past lives. Now, the tricky thing with that is we're fortunate enough to meet up with them again, but that doesn't mean both parties are actually ready and available. <laughs> that's what that's that's the tricky part. Been there, done that. So some people might reunite. Some people might reunite but have to put it on hold because they're either not ready or available. Well, it's gonna be different for everyone. So, before I get to the theme healing song, let's discuss potential new moon intention, because this is basically day one of three for our new moon intention. So, if we want a relationship, okay, if we need to release a past relationship first, that really should be, it's only suggestions, of course, it's based on the universal collective energy. So I'm not working with your personal energy here. But you would be better off releasing the past before bringing in someone new because energetically it would be like having a menage a trois. <laughs> Been there, done that. Not, not a happy circumstance. It's like you're with one person, but it's like being with the ghost of the other person. All right, you, fill, you do fill in the, um, the blanks and the math. Do math from there. So that's why I would suggest releasing one before bringing in another one. And then, of course, if you would like to move, then we are to, in perfect Pisces energy, envision where we would like to live, how we would like to live, and let's even go a little bit fantasy. Like, what is our dream? Let's, let's dip into the, the waters of the imagination of our Pisces natives. So let's be in, inspired and impassioned, that's a word, by the fire energy. And let's... Connect that with our imagination and fuel us moving forward. Like I said, this is definitely has to do with past lives. This is like biggie past lives. Oh boy. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so the theme healing song is called, let's see, there we are, is called Better Than a Fairy Tale. Of course, that was the title, that's the title of, the, of this video. It's by Gallen Crew. Beautiful song. Beautiful song. And there's many layers to it, and it has to do with our imagination, and it takes us into the world of fantasy, and basically... Why shouldn't we be living our dream? That's what it comes down to. And then, of course, as, as the song ends, conquering our fears, which we all have. So acknowledging them, recognizing them, embracing our fears, and then thus moving through them 
So that would be the conquering of them. Because we all have them. They're not really going anywhere. All right. So what I'm trying to say is we shouldn't try to run away from them because when we try to run away from something, it pretty much follows us and taps us on the shoulder like, tag, you're it. Hmm. All right, I think that is everything. Yep, that's what I'm getting. All right, so... Yep, that's all I'm getting. Okay, that's what I'm getting for now. So... I actually did not, well, let me do it right now real quick. Let me draw a card for those who have a birthday of February 26th. All right. You receive, I know there's not a lot of light here. You receive the Ace of Wands. And I'm actually going to be doing a separate video for those who have a birthday of February 24th, 5th, and 6th. So please keep your, your eyes and ears open for that. Meanwhile, go to our website, link below. Go to link birthday message and there are channel messages there. For those who have a birthday from April 19th through February 26th, there's going to be more videos added for the next month. But you're going to watch the video birthday January 28th to February 26th. You can watch any other video, of course, for friends or loved ones. Um, it's pretty special to have your birthday fall on a solar eclipse. So you're truly a lucky duck if you have a birthday on February 26th. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. If you've enjoyed Resignated with this energy message, please like, share, subscribe. It's always greatly appreciated. Thank you. And if you'd like to arrange a private psychic reading session, just shoot me an email. Email just is below. So we'll see you real soon. See you for part two. All right. Thanks. Take care.